Six years have already passed since the last movie in the Alien series, Alien Covenant, was released. Although the movies Prometheus and Covenant caused mixed reactions among viewers, the franchise is by no means over, as a soft reboot of the sci-fi classic is already in the works. The standalone movie, with the working title Alien Romulus, is expected for 2024, and although there is no teaser or trailer yet, a lot is already known about it. Learn all the latest details here, in this video. Alien Romulus will have a distinct storyline that works independently of the other movies. This means that it will not follow the plot of Prometheus, Covenant, or the original movies. The creators claim that they not only want to provide access to the franchise for diehard fans, but also give newcomers a chance to immerse themselves in the alien adventure. We will see a group of young people who, on a remote outpost, come in contact with the famous facehuggers, those beings who lay eggs in humans to create the dreaded xenomorphs. Whether the story will be limited to the planet alone is not yet known. Neither is it known whether it will stop at just one movie or if more sequels will be coming. In addition to the new Alien film adaptation, a TV series is also being planned, overseen by Fargo producer Noah Hawley. It is quite likely that these stories will be connected with each other. The cast of Alien Romulus is getting a lot younger when compared to the old films. The lead role will be played by Kaylee Spaney, a 24-year-old American who had her first big role in Pacific Rim Uprising and was last seen in the TV series The First Lady. Also joining the cast is David Johnson, who some of you may know from the rom-com Rye Lane. Meanwhile, the cast member Archie Renault became known with his role in the Netflix series Shadow and Bone just last year. Actors Spike Fern, Isabella Merced, and Eileen Wu are rather unknown, but have a shot at making it big in Hollywood with a role in this franchise. The oldest in the cast so far is actress Phoebe Waller-Bridge, whom we will also see in Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. The move to a very young cast is a new approach for the Alien film series, and certainly an exciting experiment. Typically, one might think that this is meant to target more of a younger audience, but since the movie will almost certainly get an R rating, we can't really believe that. Filming on Alien Romulus has already begun, so we hope to see a first teaser or trailer later this year. The producer is again Ridley Scott, of course, who already directed the first part and was the producer of Prometheus and Covenant. However, a new name is joining the Alien franchise as a director. In order to give the movie that special touch of shock and horror, the director of the Evil Dead reboot, Fede Alvarez, has been hired. Together with his colleague Rodo Saiguez, he also wrote the screenplay. With this crew, there is hope that the movie won't be toned down too much. A first impression is given by initial images from the set, where we can see the dreaded facehuggers. Thankfully, a theatrical release date has now also been announced. Alien Romulus is slated for release on August 16th, 2024. We are absolutely excited. And that was all the latest information about the new Alien movie. What do you think? Should we give the new cast an opportunity? Or is the franchise slowly becoming stale for you? And what is your favorite movie of the series and why? Let us know in the comments.